Now to find the surface area and the volume of a complex three-dimensional figure, what we have to do is try to picture the complex figure into different three-dimensional figure. So for example, here we have a replica of a, the Washington Monument, and these are the given measurements. And let's say I want to find the surface area of this replica of the Washington Monument. I can see that I have two three-dimensional shapes. I have the pyramids on the top, and also a rectangular prism underneath it. So I can find out each of the surface areas separately and then combine them together. So the first thing is, let's find out the surface area of this pyramid. To find the surface area, I would have to find the area of each of the surfaces and then add them together. So here I have the base and the height of the pyramid being six by six. Um, so for that, it would be 36. And then I define the area of each of these triangles. Since the base, um, the edges of the bases are same, I know that these are, this is a square. So each of these triangles are going to have the same lateral surface area as well. So, and here the height, the slanted height of that triangle is five. So to find the triangle, it will be half times base times height. That would be half of 30 which would be 15. Since I have four of these triangles, I times it by four, and that would be 15 times four would be 60. So this is what we have from the pyramid. Now for the rectangular prism, I would have to find the area of the two bases. That Those are square. Six times six is 36, times it by two. And then I have each of these rectangles, they're all going to be the same for all four sides. The rectangle would be 20 by 6. So that's 120. Multiply that 4, and it's 48. Now there's a reason why I didn't multiply this out, because when I put the pyramid on top of that prism, essentially this space and this space, I don't need to count, because that's not the surface of that monument. So Essentially, we could ignore this for the surface area because that's touching the prism. I don't need to count that. And then for the faces of that prism, I only need to count one of them. Because again, this top and this top is touching each other and it's not part of the outside surface. So right now, all I have to do is add up the remaining um, surface area. So that's 60 plus the 36 plus the 480. Plus 60 plus 480 and that will give me the surface area of this replica monument to be 576 inches squared because we're dealing with area. Now to find the volume of this complex figure we just have to do the same but applying the volume um, formula for each of these different shapes. So let's just erase this. Now, to find the volume of a pyramid, the formula is one-third times the area of the base times height. I need to have the height of this pyramid. Now, if you look, I don't have a height of this pyramid, but I do know the height of this prism is 20 inches, and the total height of this monument is 24, meaning the height of this pyramid would be 4 inches. Okay, so let's multiply this. I have one third times the base of this, um, the area of the base of this pyramid is 36 times 4, and that would be 12 times 4, which is 48. So that's the volume for the pyramid. And then the volume of this prism would be V equals to BH, the area of the base being 36 times the height of 20, and that would be 720. And now for volume, I don't need to subtract anything or taking anything out because volume simply means how much space it contains inside that monument. So we have to count every space inside the pyramid and also the prism. So I just have to add 48 with 720. So the total volume of this three-dimensional figure would be 768 inches cubed.